Okay, here we go. Let's just double check volume. Hmm, it's looking pretty good. And uh, I'm pretty sure the music is not on play, so... Let's go send out a notification. One note of the first day, friends. The Twitter we go. Can we tweet? Solid, solid. And that was it. Last thing we do is, um... Get this set up. And, uh... Will be Gucci, as they say. And that's what people say these days, right? Gucci. I think they say that at least. Yeah. Not my problem either way. Let's see. Let's pick a nice box. Box to play. We're making some lots to play. Making some lots of plan. Got on in this. Um, yeah, where's that paper I have? I need a paper. Let me move some of this around. Let me do some adjustments real quick. You're gonna hear some noises. Apologies in advance. It's like Batman, where he puts a bat in front of everything, we're gonna put lobster in front of everything. Lobster cup. Make lobster death. Lobster death. Maybe if we have time, um, we probably won't get that far. I think we'll get as far as maybe the cup. And <laughs> the rough idea for the desk, um... Let's see. Um... What else do we want? I don't know. Lob... Why am I spelling lobster incorrectly? Lobster... Lobster dot dot dot. Ah, hmm, let's see. What would be good? Lobster. No, oh, let's make a new layer. Make a new layer and then let's make this smaller. stripe on it and then we'll also have rolling a little bit
So not the most convenient cup to hold, but you know, cup with the lobster on it. You know, like how we got the lobster on it on. And probably some kind of like little pattern at the bottom. Something like that. So lobster the cup. Lots the desk. Um. Hmm. Lots the desk. I really like like a table, right? Like I've seen I've seen people with a table, so we'll have like a table. Um. I don't know how much of this will would actually be seen. Probably only maybe like this portion right here. But, um, what's the desk? What's the desk? That's at least the idea. So, you know, something we can put our stuff on. Um, if we ever have one of those streams where, like, see people just sitting there sometimes, which, like, there's nothing wrong with sitting there, but, um, a lot of people have, like, a little setup when they're talking to folks, so. I also just noticed that, um... Okay, never mind. We did change the category. I thought I forgot. I thought we were still in Genshin Impact. <laughs> oh. Hello, hello. How are we doing, Rob? Good evening to you as well. How are you? We're just I'm making plans to make more lobster stuff. We're gonna work on lobster cup. It's gonna be like it's, it's gonna be kinda like like Batman. He puts like bat in front of everything. So in reality, like a lot of these things will just be regular items, but you know, we'll put lobster in front of it to make it relevant. <laughs> Yes, hello, hello. How are you doing, Edge North? We, um, we're working on lots of this stuff today. I'm trying to get my bearings onto what else I could make other than lots the cup and lots the desk. You can kind of just really, I guess, suggest anything because, like, it doesn't have to be lobster. You can suggest, like, I don't know, like, like, table, and I'll be like, yeah, we're making a lobster table. <laughs> It's like Batman, you put lobster in front of everything and then BAM it's relevant, you know? It's look at that. Lobster. Lobster this, lobster that. So um I think that's as far as my brain is going so far. I have these two things. Um we'll get ideas for that later. I guess also the other thing is um Silly TM. We will get the ability to like actually put out emotes. So I'm trying to figure out like what would be good emotes. We do have some already, but I'm trying to figure out like are these like actually good, you know? Let me save this. Let's save this as um lobster item ideas. Pretty much the plan today. Very um chill lobster item making stream. We'll go ahead and set up a new canvas. We'll make it a little bit smaller. I don't oh my god. That scared me. Jesus. Like, well, even like, I'm not like frightened. It was more like a little bit unexpected. It caught me off guard. 
I guess we'll start with Lobster Cup since that's all I really have right now. <laughs> Lobster Cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the little Lobster Cup so we have an idea for reference. And we'll draw the actual like Lobster Cup over here. Let me save this point. And let me get this canvas saved as well. And then we can, uh, we can, we can go. We can go. Lobster. I'm trying to make it a habit to name my layers, but, uh... It's gonna... I don't know how long or how well it will stick, but, um, you know. I'm gonna try our best. I also learned that this program can record, like, the time lapses. Well, like, I've been slightly aware of it, but I keep forgetting that it does it, so... This program can, um, record time lapses. So, I did have a time lapse of some of the art I did the other day. Um, posted it to Twitter. Well, I posted the finish art to Twitter and I guess by extension the Discord. The speed paint is on my VODs channel. Very, very calm stream today, just uh... You know. I think I need to move this up. Not the cup. Like a mug, you know, but with the lobster on it. Hello, hello, Hatchet. We are, um, we're making lobster cup. I'm trying to think of items that I can draw. Um, think of it akin to how Batman puts bat at the beginning of everything. So, it's... We're making a cup, and we're making a desk, probably, if we get that far, but it's gonna be lobster-related. I'm drinking water. <laughs> but if it's not lobster-related directly, we're gonna slap lobster in front of it, and then bam, it's lobster-related, you know? That's the plan, at least. Cup for lobster soup? True. Lobster soup. Soup for the lobster, not not soup made of lobster, you feel? Soup for the lobster. The lobster soup, you know? So, um, I'm just trying to draft up how uh, the cup might look. I don't know if I want it to be... I might make the bottom a little bit more, um... I like mugs that aren't, like, the ones that are, like, a full cylinder. I like when there's, like, a level of construction to it. <laughs> like, very minor construction, just, like, very... at the bottom, it makes, like, um... It does, like, that little dip, you know? So that it's not, like, a full little you know, cylinder thing. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna try to draw a cup today. We might need to actually make the canvas a little bit bigger, but that's this point. Let's do like... Let's do like 350 by 350. I think that should be enough space. And if we need more space, we'll make it bigger. There we go. What's the cup? Lots of soup. All the lots of things you could ever want to do.
So yeah, that's it's pretty much the plan today. Um, I wish I could explain better an autistic process for this, but I have no idea what I'm doing, so... Um, cannot explain the process for that very well. However, um... I guess while we're doing this, mayhaps we can talk about random topics. The Zatsu drawing. I think that's the term they use, Zatsu? That's the term them VTubers use, you know. I want there to be like a little bit of perspective to the cup, like not too much, nothing too crazy, just enough to be like, oh yeah, there's there's some, you know, minor depth here. Do I want this handle going? I don't know. Let's just, I guess, do this. And uh, I'll clean it up after we do this. Just to get the shape of the handle, you know. A lobster cup. Did I ask you how your day was, by the way, Hatchet and Edgenon? How was your day? Sometimes I forget if I ask people that. So far, so good? That's good news. I try to make it a habit, but sometimes I get distracted. I get distracted real easily. <laughs> I'm gonna duplicate that layer, and then now I'm gonna just, uh, erase. And then we'll go in later, and... So, it's my least favorite part of drawing, is doing the line art for things. It's when you make, like, clean lines, or, like, some people call it inking. I guess it depends on, like, um... Depends on, like, the art medium, I guess, you're using, maybe. Or like the intent of the um the media but when you like make you know the, the outlines you draw out the clean outlines and it's my least favorite part of the process because it's, it's kind of hard to do when did i start crying what did i click <laughs> I, I can't believe I was crying this whole time. <laughs> what did I click? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, the number keys are what I have my hotkeys set up on. And when I was changing the canvas size, I must have... Must have tapped it on. <laughs> Whoops, good thing. I, I, I like to make a habit to, like, look over, so... Good thing I caught that. I look kind of funky otherwise. <laughs> I guess, you know what, I guess it was kind of relevant to the topic, though, I guess. Because I was saying I don't like line art, but... The scuff. The scuff is here, and it's, it may or may not be around for a while. Um, so bear with me. Or don't, or don't. Again, I can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do, but... Hopefully it ain't too bad. I am on, like, the completely wrong layer for that.
You know, I think that's looking pretty good for the cup face. Um, let's see. This here. These all into a folder together. And then we'll make our next layer. I'm gonna switch to a different color so I can keep track of everything. I want like a stripe. One stripe. Wraps around the whole edge of the cup. Like that. Have this blue line on the cup. Then we're gonna draw our lobster. Yeah, we'll have an arm on the other side too. Maybe we can draw the cup at a few different perspective angles. Who knows? A little bit small. I don't want it going all the way to the bottom of the cup. Hello, hello, Mino. How you doing? We just uh, were, we're making lobster cup to go with lobster jam. Lobster jam needs more friends, so we're gonna make lobster items to go with lobster jam. Finish lobster jam yet, yeah, but I'll finish it soon. Yeah. So Something like this. And like from the side, let me make a new layer. From the side, um, this is like where the handle is. This is like the other side of the cup here. Um, the lobster like hangs on, it has the little tail here, and it has like the arms. And then the antennae actually, like, jut out, so it's like, a f like, it's a little bit raised from, like, the cup area. So it's like, I just stuck a lobster to the side of the cup. But it's like one of those cups where, like, you ever see those ceramic cups where, like, people sculpt them to have details on it? Something like that. Oh, 
starting to feel like the antennae are a little bit too big. Actually, let's not do that. Let's control Z that and then um something like this. And, um, this will be for the lobster line. <laughs> we'll call it line. We'll name that later. And we're gonna zoom in at the bottom here. So I want little, like, little pattern things at the bottom. We can do them in our colors. We can do it in the pink and the, uh, the teal. make it something that's not dots, but this is kind of just to get out, like, the idea. It'll make, like, little, little ocean or nautical-themed little pattern items. Let me scotch this over a little bit. It needs to be spread out a tiny bit more. like this. I don't think it would be as straight. Or well, maybe it would be straight. I'm not sure. Because the cup kind of curves a little bit. But we'll, we'll figure that out. This is the idea for lobster cup. Maybe it will have like, maybe. Oh, I don't really drink tea, but I see sometimes with like tea packets, like they'll have like the little, they'll have the little like tea wire come down, and I see my friends they like. Wrap it around here. Leave it to hang with like the little tag. Maybe. We can make like a fish shaped tag and it kind of just hangs there for no other reason other than we're steeping our tea really hard. Let's go ahead and save. Sub base for lobster cup. And, um, feel like I put off the inevitable for, for as long as I could. The inevitable. One stroke is just on a different layer. That's all. Let's, let's move a little cup over. Now 
Now we begin the grueling process. Um, maybe I practice more with the pen tool. Um, hmm. I can't really tell the difference between some of these pens, to be honest, when I use them. So, um, here's what I do. Where do I want to start? <laughs> Boy. Well, I want to start somewhere. You like art? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, Feezak. We are working on lobster cup. We have our lobster plans. We're gonna make some lobster items. How are you doing today? Um, I spent some time drawing out the draft for the lobster cup idea. I need to do the line art for lobster cup. We can fix the details, like the blue stripe, and I want to turn these things down here into um like actual symbols but we can we can take care of that later um after i finish doing the line art which i'm dreading but we must do it we must do it okay Oof. And I hate why not. <laughs> why lobster and not crab? Um, cause I want I I have some crab items. Um, I have. Well, I don't have any crab items, so that's a lie. But we can add some crab items after. I see some people with like they have drawing tablets for the that you put on the screen and I thought like one with crab details would be cute but we're doing lobster cup so lobster jam is not allowed you mean lobsters are prone to lying I mean on like the seafloor I like crabs and lobsters. I like crabs a little bit more, but we're trying to stay on theme here. Need need some more lobster items you know, to keep it on brand. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm so much better when you don't have to line the art. That's why some of my artworks you don't see me do any line art um it's really terrible for um animation i think i think it just makes things more difficult but it's because i don't like line art and i'm lazy what do you mean what do you mean i mean i i'm a lobster but i'm also a crab i'm a crab at heart Used to be a crab, now a lobster. Sometimes I get to be a crab. Not right now, we're a lobster. And this is uh oof. It's gonna be a two hour video of me redrawing <laughs> the same line fifty times. gonna be a rough day. 
Not in like a bad way. I, I have to learn how to do this if I want to get better. If I just avoid the problem, we'll never improve. Defend the law, the honor of lobsters everywhere. Okay. Not all lobsters are liars. Technically, I do have some crab things, so it's not entirely a lie. And this is really going to end up being a video of me drawing the same, like, five lines 20 times over. So uh, I guess buckle up and get ready for that. It's gonna be the entire stream. <laughs> um, hmm. Who is my unconventional landlord? Oh, I can, um... Here, here, here. Why don't you go, um... Where's, where's my thing? Let me, let me go grab my thing. You can read my, um... You can read the first part of my lore comic and then I'll explain the rest. Long story short, um, I used to be a little blue crab, the exact same one you saw on the screen, and I would spend my days doing my crabby duties, my crabby jobs, and I would play my, my Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And someone came along and decided that, um, well, they didn't, they did decide, but, uh, that they wanted to be a crab and not a lobster girl. Now they hang out in my crappy body. It doesn't have the second part of the lore in that, by the way. I didn't add it because um, I needed to draw it out and I didn't finish it. Basically, long story short, my unconventional landlord is Santonia. And she um, keeps me trapped in my lobster body and... Um, I, I stream to the masses. Because uh, they they will me too. And uh, if I don't comply to said uh, requests, um, and I'm separated from my original body for too long, I'll never be able to return. So, you know. I'm a victim of an existential horror. Of the soul. The horror being, um, my soul is taken from my body against my will. And, uh, we are in. Uh, we. The lobster was the only body at the time. It's a creature body that didn't have a soul in it, so that's why Santonia was in there. Nearly all remnants of my former self have been scrubbed. It even changed my real master duel ID.
TLDR, breaking immersion warning. It's um, it's like an excuse for me to ever go little crab if I ever want to do little crab again. Which reminds me, I need to go purchase crab champions. If you guys are not aware of crab champions, the guy who made the uh, the noise storm crab rave song has been working on a on a. Um, a shooter game based around crabs and it's finally out for open access i think i think they consider it they said they're calling it early access for now um because they still have a lot to do with the game but that was why i was a crab because i'm just like oh would it be so cool to See a crab play crab champions? Um, and crab champions just took like a hot minute, so... <laughs> a lot longer than I anticipated at least. Here we are now. I'm really just drawing the same line 50 times over. This is cool. I give up on that line. We'll come back to that line. <laughs> Yep, that's pretty much the whole idea. Um, I really am just drawing the same line over and over again. This is so self-fulfilling prophecy. It was also because um, it came to a point where um, I, I considered myself a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel only uh, exclusive streamer and then I'm like, ooh. I want to do some things that aren't Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Um, how can I still flex the fact that I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel only streamer while still streaming other stuff? And bada bing, bada boom, now we have two channels. I will say though, I don't plan to be super active on the other one. Maybe once or twice a month at most. Majority of the activities will be done here, which include Yu-Gi-Oh! Any additional things happening on the other channel are exclusively Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Make a dual disc for the crab. <laughs> Hello, you've been gone for the past five minutes? Oh. Um. Well, you can read the first part of my lore that doesn't actually explain the unconventional landlord thing. And then I took a short minute to explain it earlier. But TLDR, um, as they say, look at me using internet terms. Too long did not read. Um, a law reason being that, um, the soul that in currently inhabits the body of the crab, Santonia, has trapped me in this lobster body that they found themselves brought into. And I must do their bidding, otherwise um, they will not allow me to return to my body. They can control the swapping of said body at will, and if I'm separated from my original body for too long, the separation is permanent and I'll never return. Meta speaking, breaking um character and you know, breaking character and lore. Um it's so I have an excuse to be both the crab and lobster whenever I feel so doing. When will I return to my body? Um whenever I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Mask the duel on the other channel. And maybe if we're lucky when I play Crab Champion. Um, I haven't really set it up yet because, um, I have an older crab model that I actually, um, 
I wanted the art for me, and I set up a rig for it, and I've been lazy to rig the crab, so it's just been... It's just blinking right now, because I've been... I have another channel I do that I previously played Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel on, and, um... I was thinking of going anime girl, and I'm like, huh, well, I kind of, and I wanted to stream other stuff that wasn't just Yu-Gi-Oh, but I still wanted to flex the fact that I would be a Yu-Gi-Oh! only Master Duel streamer, so the compromise would be, if, t if I have a channel that's only Master Duel, technically, technically, I do have a channel where I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel only streamer. You can- you can find the link to it. It's a hidden secret in, on my channel. There's a- there's a hidden link to it. It's not too secret. You could find it pretty easily. What a- what a look for it. I'm gonna be mysterious about it so you can, um... Can feel cool about when you find it. Man, this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. Um, hopefully once I get, like, the baseline out. It may be easy. No, it's actually- okay, it's not that easy. It's not that easy, actually. I, I purposely hit it for a few different reasons. Um, I don't wanna talk too much about it. We'll make it really brief. Um, the whole- part of the other reason why I didn't just rebrand the channel is because, um, a viewer on the other channel, like, they weren't being, like, overly creepy. They were just being kind of, like, suspicious. But it wasn't enough grounds for me to, like, ban them. And I could have just banned them, I guess. But I, I guess, like, I felt as if they were being rather tame. And I didn't want to aggravate them for whatever reason, so... Um, I haven't seen them on the other channel in a while. But just in case, keeping things separate. Because, like, if they were already being kind of funky when I was a crab, I kind of don't want them around for when I'm an anime girl. You feel? So. That was that. Nothing too... Like, I, I could have been... Maybe it was just in my head, you know? It was just in my head, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Just, you know, just on my end. Um, like, they didn't do anything malicious, but like... It definitely felt like they were either trying to troll me or something. Because some of the things they said just did not add up. But we are past that. So it's actually not that easy. Um, but if you use your imagination, actually, wait a second. <laughs> I don't even. I, I can do this. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. I got this. I got this. How do I? How do I do this? Am I doing this correctly? Am I doing this correctly? Pause. Pause the drawing. Pause the drawing. But yeah, so the game Crab Champions is out. Um. Come on, you can do it. Come on. No, internet browser, you're not gonna you're not gonna be nice about it. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Send the information your way. 
I could make a little dual disc for the crab. That is, we can write that down. Let me write that down. That would be pretty cute, actually. For crabby time. But yeah, once I actually finish, um, rigging the crab, um, I'll probably have, like, uh, whenever we get the ability to have redeem, um, I'll probably have a redeem set up for that, where, like, you know, go crab. Go crab versus go lobster. Every art much good. Um, yeah, this is uh this is art. I guess this is this is uh the not so exciting process of art. Let me um really quick. I guess I can show off in case you boys are not aware of the Twitter or are not in the Discord, which is totally fine. Um The heck? I've never seen it do that before. That's crazy. Um, I'm talking about something that you can't see on the screen, but um. Wow, okay, am I gonna have to go all the way to Twitter for this? That's crazy. I'm gonna have to go all the way to Twitter for this. There we go. Create new from clipboard. So we, I drew this the other day. I didn't draw the background. Um, I just drew this because um, I had an idea that popped into my head. Where, um, good evening, good evening. How are you doing, Telgar? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I saw this thing where, like, I guess... What's that? The VTuber, the, the Niji Sanji people? I guess they were getting stuck in glue traps or something? Well, no, somebody already bought me and took me out of the lobster packaging. <laughs> but if you were there that day, you could have. Looks kind of odd. Yeah, um... The idea was, um... The idea was that instead of being trapped in a glue trap, um, I got caught in a lobster trap and they put me in the market. In like, the little freezer section where they got the fish, you know? So that was the idea and I'm like, huh, wait, this is... <laughs> this might be funny, who knows? So that's, that's what I did. Um... I'm not very good at the whole realism thing, so I tried. I tried my best. It's something. That, um, let me... Let me draw that. It's the guy. The guy. I like the stick figure guy where he's like... Something like this, you know, where he's like, it's something. I don't know. Yeah, you know, the stick figure guy. The, like, the old... Back with, like, the old Rage comics, you know, that it's something, dude. I probably drew him wrong, but... Yeah, they put me in the octopus section. <laughs> but yeah, so, that's... I just got the idea because I saw the glue trap thing and I know the whole the glue trap thing was like the Yamcha pose. Um, which I love a good Yamcha pose, don't get me wrong, but I thought it would be funnier to be like packaged in a thing at the supermarket because it's just like, okay, well, 
you know, I wouldn't get caught in a glue trap, but what would catch me? And it's like, oh, right, they make lofts the trap. <laughs> I got sent to the supermarket. Um, yeah, V2 Valor. <laughs> V2 Valor. Um, today we're working on Lobster Cup. How are you doing, Donnell? We're working on Lobster Cup. I'm gonna draw a cup for myself that's lobster related. We can also work on a dual disc for my crab self. Once I finish actually rigging my crab self, I can occasionally stream as the crab. Goodbye, of course. Thank you for stopping by, Pisa. Take care, take care. You're quite tired, but you're doing good nonetheless. How ought I? I am, um, we're pretty okay. We're just, I'm stalling right now because I don't, I don't like doing line art. So <laughs> now that I brought up the, uh, the, the, the glue trap thing, I can- I can idle on this page and pretend to talk about it, you know. <laughs> Me and a lobster trap. Write that down, write that down. Like and subscribe to let me out of the lobster trap. Wait, wait, give me a second. <clears throat> oh, wrong one, wrong one. <clears throat> Hello, folks. Could you please like and subscribe so I can pay the fisherman to let me out of this lobster trail? I've been stuck in here for three days because they don't check it daily, they just leave it there. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button on the way out and turn your notifications on for the next video. Something like that, something like that. Personally, I couldn't imagine myself doing that, but it would be a funny comedy bit. Let me, um... Let me... Let me do this. Let me do screenshot so I can give you proper credit later on your ideas and your contributions yes this is exactly what we were planning to do we were thinking of stuff to do anyway stuff to draw crab and lots of related things to draw i've also decided that i'm gonna be kind of like batman donnell where like even if it's just a regular desk we're gonna call it lobster desk we're gonna make it related to to lobsters by putting lobster in front of it like how batman just puts bat in front of stuff you know, the bat cup. The lobster cup. Yep, so we did that. Um, I was kind of late to the trend because it, it takes me a little bit to do art. You're thinking more confused. What should I do with it? It's su su such a creepy stare. Hi there, like and subscribe to the lobster trap. <laughs> you know if I you know what? Actually looking at my character to be honest. If I was not myself and somebody else was my character, this really does actually have like it does, she doesn't really look like a trap, but it does have the trans colors. We are a safe space here, by the way. I have many friends in um, various portions of the community. And um, I, I don't even mention it because I, I feel like you shouldn't even have to go out of your way to mention it. But, I guess just to make that clear, um, this is a safe space for people of all types, so... To each their own, whatever makes you happy. The plan- yeah, the plan was really kind of funny. Like and subscribe to the Law the Trap. I make art and play cards in here! 
Who knows? Maybe one day, if I want to redo my lore, <laughs> come visit me in the lobster trap. Buy my freedom by subscribing to me. Once I hit X amount of subscribers, they'll let me out of here. Gotta, you gotta click bait them, you know? Whatever else people do. I don't know too much about, um, like, content culture. I am really not liking these. Yeah, yeah, trick them into letting me out. You ever see those, like, those stories about the fish where it's like, if you let me go, fisherman, I'll grant you a wish. You ever see those, you know? They're like, if you let me go, I will grant you a wish or something. Like, I think it's like a folk tale or something, right? Is it? Is it like a folk tale? Where like a fisherman catches a fish and, the, and he's about to like eat the fish and the fish is like, wait, sir, if you let me go, I will. Lobster of the lake, what is your wisdom? <clears throat> Come watch me play games to subscribe. Hello. I'm good like that. I don't know. I've never actually like watched that scene animated. Like, do they? What's the what's the energy when they say that? Like, does it matter? Does it really matter? Like, is there a specific line delivery for what they say? Do they even respond? Yeah, I've only ever seen the meme version of it. I have no idea. I'm gonna come back to this later and I'm gonna spend like the better part of like three hours on this off of screen so stream so it looks better and you guys don't see me take like an hour to draw the same line right now you're just seeing me take like 15 minutes to draw the same line the delivery is simply anime girl the like flash well what is the wisdom and then just some something completely whack and not wise at all Huh. Mm, something unwise. It is something unwise. That reminds me of this post I saw where someone was like, I had a dream that Confucius was uh, like a cat girl and he said, catnip making me feel unwise. I'm like, okay, that's a one who dreams of Confucius, and two, a lobster a day keeps the lonely away. I don't know, maybe. Certainly doesn't keep the IRS away. I'll tell you that. I'm, I'm I'm gonna spend way too long drawing this line. I'm not apologizing. Lobsters are expensive. That is true. Blame consumerism over fishing, and you know, um, changes in environment, but also. It's actually really hard for people to farm lobsters. I have it on my lobster fact page, but... So Vietnam is like the first and one of the only countries actually that successfully farm lobsters. And even then, like, it takes a long time for those lobsters to mature. Like, no country has yet to really perfect growing lobsters in captivity, so... Until they do that, monsters are gonna be kind of expensive.
Okay. I, I also have this on my fact, my lobster fact page. This is, this is, that's propaganda. So lobsters are called like bottom eaters, bottom dwellers, but they're actually not scavengers. Like I'm sure just like any other animal, they'll scavenge and eat something like on opportunity. But lobsters are actually observed to hunt food. And they're omnivorous, so they kind of just eat whatever's like convenient for them. Either they'll like hunt shellfish and stuff, or they'll like eat sea prey. So, lobsters eating cockroaches are propaganda. Line is not good. Um, how does it look from far away? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to probably redraw this later. Yeah, I know it's a common name, but I am here to, to fight against these these names and titles. I'm here to uphold my honor as a lobster. <laughs> Changing the negative stigma begins with me. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Gave a little staff a moment. Are they? Are they really unique? I feel like a lot of people have eyes very similar to mine. <laughs> like the amount of people that actually have heterochromia <laughs> in the VTuber community is really high. Um, I guess it's for the eye shape. I will say, me compared to my sisters, um, I think only two of my sisters have the more like round eye shape. Like, if I open my eyes all the way, um, they might actually be able to even go wider, but, um, pretty sure this, so, um, pretty sure when this was, so, like, sometimes when VTuber models, I don't know if this is true for everyone, but usually when VTuber models are rigged, they're, like, rigged specifically to the person, and, um, I, I don't have, like, my eyes aren't super tiny, but I'm definitely, like, somewhat chinky because I'm Asian, so I, a lot of the time, I have, like, a half-lidded look to my eyes because <laughs> the model <laughs> thinks I'm, like, half-closing my eyes on the tray. <laughs> like, I, I think I've just come to live with it, the pupils. Mm. Oh, like, the little white dots I got going on? I like the white dots, they're cute. The same reason, it has a hard time knowing if I'm blinking or not. <laughs> kind of funny, kind of funny. Yeah. You know, speaking of my sisters. I, I learned the craziest news, the craziest news. So, I, I had assumed that everybody drawn by my artist, other than, um, myself, belonged to either, like, a JP Chinese, or, like, I learned also that one of them, they're from a Spanish-speaking country, so maybe if I brush up on my Espanol, I could talk to them, but I learned that one of them, one of them is act they actually speak English. 
they actually speak English. It, it's crazy. I might be able to actually talk to someone. <laughs> um, it's a lot of the time, like, I see, like, on Twitter that, like, the JP ones, they hang out all the time. And I'm like, it's, it's like that, um, internally, it's like that meme where he's like, let me in, let me in. That's me. That's me, and I... <laughs> I'm like, dang, I wish I could hang out with family, so. I don't know if I'll actually be able to hang out with them or not, because, like, one, I don't want them to think that I'm approaching them just to, like, gain an audience. And then two, um, they're part of a company. And that's why I didn't know that they were English, because on, like, Bebe's site, the company name had, like, some non-English characters next to the company name, so I had just assumed that they didn't speak English. But it came up into my feed that their rigger finally finished rigging the model. And the rigger's also Japanese, I think. Um, but I digress, so the model was finally finished, and so I checked out the channel, I'm like, oh my god, they speak English, it's crazy. But I've never expected. I thought I was gonna be forever, <laughs> forever alone. Doomed to never know my family until I decide to learn Japanese. Um, still a similar thing. I'm really not liking the line art thing. Let me, let's start doing the lobster in my usual lineless style and I'll see how that looks. And if I think that looks good enough, maybe we can just do all the props with like minimal line work because I really hate line work. Just not my forte. I used to know a bit of Spanish because of school, but I doubt I'm any good at it now because I haven't practiced it. Oh, I would be be a train wreck if I try to talk to the other one. Um, I just figured that'd be something interesting. It's like, oh, what are we doing? We're gonna go talk to you know my family. Sometimes I try to interact with them a bit on Twitter by doing the whole Romante thing. I usually ask my friends, I'm like, hey, if I was going to respond to this person, um, like, you know, what is an appropriate response that I could type out? And then I don't want to type to them in, like, Japan, like, copy and paste the Japanese from anything, because I feel like that's just kind of weird. So every now and then, I'll respond to some of their stuff with, like, a little thing. Some of them respond in, like, English, and it's kind of cute. Like, oh, this is nice. I'm interacting. Probably won't interact much outside of that, just because, you know, language barrier. It's like, dang, my family hangs out. They hang out with each other, <laughs> and I can't hang out with them. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Like... I'm not necessarily interested, per se, in... I'm drinking water, I'm drinking water. Um, I'm not super interested in doing, like, poop collabs that much, to be honest. Like, I feel like I'm not a very interesting person to collab with. Because I don't play a lot of games. So I don't want people to, like, expect anything from me. Um... I think something like that is like a little bit more appropriate because it, it's more reasonable that we know each other. Well, like we don't know each other, but like it, it, it's it becomes like an event thing because it's not like two people. It would be like all of them. Like majority of the time, it's at least like six of them hanging out. Like, 
call themselves the Bay Bay Musume or the Bay Bay Girls. And I think also like Bay Bayya or something. I don't know what that means, but I've seen I've seen the Google Translate translate a specific character to Bay Bay Ya. Which is the oddest name and then whatever Ya means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but, you know, I'm like, oh, that's interesting, you know, I, I find it somewhat interesting. I don't have super big stakes in it, like, I'm not gonna die, I guess, if I never talk to them, but... One of those things where it's like, oh, if I'm looking for something to do, that might be something interesting. Let's go with the movie. Lots the cup. We probably could have got further if I didn't spend like the better part of an hour trying to draw lines, but it is what it is. I'm also trying to think of like other VTuber type activities? Like, I'm not super familiar with VTuber culture, so I'm like, oh, what, what are other things that, like, VTubers do? Like, I didn't really... I consider it to be more of a first stream than a debut, but I guess technically, like, that's what a debut is for VTubers. Like, your first stream is usually your debut stream, so... I'm like, okay, well, let me look up VTuber debut, see what they do. We made, like, the little lore video and that kind of jazz. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, like, what, what other things do VTubers do? You know, like... I like to assume most people are here just because they like hanging out with me, but I guess on the flip side, it's like, since I am a VTuber, I guess I should be doing some VTuber thing. People who watch me probably watch other VTubers, and they probably like VTuber activities. What kind of... Hmm, I don't know. I have to go research, I guess. Maybe in the end it's fine if I don't do too many VTuber things. But it could be kind of fun, you know? I guess, like, I'd want to try stuff at least, like, once? At least with the VTuber thing. Let's see if it's, like, something interesting that I might enjoy. Um... It could be something, perhaps, I do more often. And I guess there's just also other, like, general streaming things. Um, I had mentioned doing, um, doing a tier list. All the number cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! I feel like making tier lists is like a regular streamer activity, you know? Does that look funky? Maybe I'm gonna move the antennae a little bit. Yeah, 
actually wait before I do that. Yeah, I love the cup. Just the, you know, a comfy little aunt streaming day. Lots of cup. And then we'll be back on Friday with Yukio. I was checking out my... I have a lot of gems, so maybe we'll build a new deck. I do have a lot of gems that I need to, um... Sorry, I'm gonna reshift myself. I'm gonna reposition my my legs are dying, so I'm gonna reposition. Okay. So I just realized my Is this like the natural position? Is that the natural position of the eyebrows, or am I just constantly looking angry? <laughs> you know what? I'll try not to think too much about it. What's the cut? We save the progress on lost the cup. To be honest, um... I'm not, like, hard feeling the energy of Lost the Cup. I'm probably gonna have to redo it later. However, what we can do is, um... Where is it? I know you're here somewhere. We can open up this Photoshop file. And I guess we can get started on the crab disc. Wait, we can do a rough for the crab disc. Taking a second to load because it's kind of a big Photoshop file. So, um, my my new crabby was drawn by someone named Adora Blushy. They have really, really pretty art. Um, and they do a lot of Pokemon stuff, so I really like their Pokemon stuff. Um, so I think this, probably this bottom position is a good position for dual disc. Um, But it can also go up. I could have one of the arms raised, but that doesn't make a lot of sense for, um, like, uh... From the perspective of, like, you know... This doesn't make too much sense, um... Like, why would you be holding a dual disc up in the air, you know? So, let's go look up some dual disc, um...
wonderful. This is a pretty good image. I think this is how it looks like in the anime. Actually, wait, let's just grab this actual screenshot from the anime. There we go. So that's from the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, and we're going to do a little dual disc for our crab Well, when we go crabbing out, we got crabbing in style, you know? I like this pen a little bit better because it makes everything the same a little bit better because I like it makes everything the same width so it makes me feel a little bit better about um the angles and lines that I'm drawing. focusing so <laughs> we're gonna hello 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 boss yes the crab bull the crab bull um i began to rig the crab but um it was a cute viewer idea we were working on i was gonna draw lobster cup we were gonna do like lobster desk and then um just Helga had suggested that we do a dual disc for the crab, so I'm like, you know what? Let's um, let's do that. That's a cute idea, you know, because once I once I rig the crab, I think it'd be fun to go back and forth, you know. I can't even tell if I'm <laughs> erasing that correctly or not. So, I'm doing that, uh, cause I dislike doing line art, so I put off the cup on the, um, on the back bunny, on the back bunny for now. We also have lobster jam in the corner with me, um, it's the rough for lobster jam. I'm probably gonna add a few more frames and clean it up a little bit more later, but we worked on that, um, on stream the other day too. Drinking water. We're drinking water. I also have very. I, I learned some very exciting news for me. I was on my Twitter feed and I learned that, um. What is this? this size 40? Okay, let me. Let me write this down so I know. 40 out of layer. That's 20. Yeah, 20 looks good. 20 small detail. We'll hide that. Okay. Um, what's it called? So I learned that um there's actually another like NA Bay Bay. Well I actually I don't know if they're from NA, but they speak English. There's another Bay Bay that speaks English. Their model like just literally like the other day just finished getting rigged, so I'm like, oh wow, I might be able to talk to someone, that's crazy. Anybody else speaks Japanese? I also learned another one speaks Spanish. Um, I used to be good at Spanish, and um, I don't think I would have the time to repractice it. So that one's probably more wistful thinking than anything, but... Oh, 
That's right, I forgot that this was a thing. I kinda will I get testing. Not that I can I can make the straight line, but I don't think it looks as nice as when I draw it myself. Oh yeah, we're making the little crabby disc. And the whole stream has been me like redrawing lines like 40 times over, but... We're probably not gonna end up redrawing these lines too much as long as we get the actual, you know, the line going. The right angle and everything. The lines are meant to re be redrawn. No, we don't want to have to redraw the lines. I'm shifting around again so I can maybe get a better, <laughs> better posture, better angle on drawing these lines. The lines demand it. I don't want to meet these demands. I don't negotiate with... Um, you know. Don't negotiate with, um... People who spread terror. And those people in question are currently the lines. Yeah, we do not. We do not. We do not. No, we do not go behind those lines and we do not negotiate with them. That is... that is the state of how things are, you know. What does this one connect to then? Does it... Um, I guess it goes there. I guess that's... That's the most logical angle on it, I guess. Is this looking like a dual disc? <laughs> Does it look anything like a dual disc? <laughs> We're drawing so many lines. That's a I'm much better with, I think, the straight lines than the curved lines. I understand the ability to pull a line in a straight direction. The curve the line, that's, that's a kind of an advanced technique, you know. Not something we've quite mastered yet. Maybe if I put some more skill points into it or something. This guy looks like he plays Diamond Crab King look- Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, Diamond Crab's like one of the only real crab cards in the game, one of like three? And I'm kind of disappointed that Diamond Crab is not a water monster, but it's an earth monster instead. I'm like, who decided that? Come on, you know? Diamond Crab. It kind of makes sense, but I'm also like, what the heck, you know? Trying to figure out, like, <laughs> the angle on this thing. We're focusing. We're focusing to draw on Krabby Bull Disc. And we're back to redrawing the same line 15 times. It was a good run while it lasted, you know. Oh, 
crazy. We can do that. I think that is actually much easier than, um... Like, actually trying to draw the line with this. Erasing it like that. Hidden strategy unlocked. How to do better line erasing. Yeah, we're gonna flip this so I can try to draw it at a the same angle. Close enough. Let's move this. For our crappy self, when we want to do some crab you yield. And for uh, whenever I get around to actually rigging this. <laughs> they caught up in... First I got caught up in trying to finish art for the, sh the debut stream, which I did not entirely finish. Um, now we're just doing more art that's not related to me. It tastes like crab looks like people. Crab people. You summon crab turtle? Okay, I will say crab turtle, I kind of don't like how crab turtle looks. That's why I don't run a crab turtle deck. I'm like, I look at crab turtle and I'm like, it is not a crab. The other crazy thing is like, there's like all of like 10 cards in the game that have crab in the name, whether it's crab related or not. And then there's only like three or two with lobster. One of them's not even an actual lobster. It's like one of those protozoic cards. Can you believe it? What does... Meanwhile, there's like an entire shark archetype. So it's like, okay, what do they got against um? What do these people have against... Monsters, you know? They just don't like lobsters. It's looking like a dual disc, you know. I need to like stare at it for a second. I need to, I need to, I need to move further back and look at it. And then the other thing is like, technically we can color it any color we want, but I want it to be recognizable as a dual disc, so I'm probably gonna keep like the same color palette of like the red area with like the gray and then the blue slots yeah so in the future, you may see us as the crab bee, and who knows, if the crab is like less intensive of a model, uh, maybe when I'm playing more crazy games, I'll, I'll go crab on you. We'll probably have to crab to do crab champions though. I want to at least do that. I want to crab or crab championing? Crab championing? Playing crab champions. That is the correct um, you know, correcting. So. That's what we're doing. This was a really good idea, though. Thank you very much. 
me um it's gonna be a pain to save because I accidentally not accidentally it technically was on purpose but this is the um this is the, the Photoshop document <laughs> that I have set up for the full rig of the crab so when I scroll these layers that I'm covering it's like the entire crab um but, what we can do is, um, I can take all of these layers, put them into this folder. There's one thing I really like about Flip Studio Paint. I put all these layers in a folder. I copy this. And then bam, now they're in a whole new document. And they're all in the folder. So I don't have to, like, copy the whole thing. Um, I think that was a 3,000 by 3,000 canvas. That looks about right. Then we'll grab Mr. Kaiba, put him back over there, and then last thing we're gonna do is um... Merge all of these layers so that we have just our crappy. We're gonna have to readjust uh, where it's sitting, but that's fine. It's that's honestly not that bad. Um, just like dragging it over here. There we go. Now let's also just save this. Crab disc. Um, I don't know if I want to set up a whole dual disc thing for the loft. I feel like we got the, uh... <laughs> Man, I clicked the crying thing again. I feel like we got, we got the cards, you know? I don't know if you can... Can you see this behind Lobster Jam? We got the cards in the hand, so... The hand. If I, if, I, <laughs> if I do this extreme angle, you can see the hand. We got the cards in the hand, so I think that's good enough for the Lobster. I think, I think the crab should have the honor of having the full duelist. The crab's more of a duelist than I am, if you feel. When I'm, I'm the crab, I'm at my full dueling potential. Well, turn the cards off. Actually, we'll just close all the those. Now we have to make our little... Little... Card fields... Thing. We have enough. Okay, I eh, this is good enough actually. The second I didn't think we would have enough space, but I guess technically, you know, if the crab's playing with them, the cards can be this small. One, two, and then one, two, three. I have to somehow divide this into three sections, so... One... One... Two? One, two. They all feel so narrow. But enough!
So yeah, I have a lot of miscellaneous gems to use, so I'll probably build another deck. I was thinking maybe, um, someone had brought it up in chat earlier, but, like, the other stream, but... I actually was considering for a while playing Plunder Patrol. And it is water theme. So, I was thinking, huh, okay, Plunder Patrol, that could be something we're doing. Is that gonna bother anyone that the ones on the one side are smaller than the ones in the front? Anyone gonna have a problem with that? So I think if I just- I'm not gonna be looking at it all the time, so I think I can live with that, but... Anyone who has any kind of lightened OCDs, speak now, whoever holds your peace. Otherwise, um, we can begin the coloring process. No one has spoken, so I don't want to hear any complaints about it later. I know the top of it isn't red in the reference photo, but I figure, like, you know, we're using red. Might as well add a little bit more red, you know. these uh, little block sections that we set up. Okay. Hey! Yeah. I need to readjust again. My legs are dying. My legs are always dying. Yeah, once I finish the crab, I hope you all are excited to get a few Occasional crappy adventures. No, not that. And then they did have those little yellow thingies, so might as well add them. They were like little triangles. I 
And then what we can do is we can just copy and paste that triangle over and over. Because <laughs> um, I'm lazy. <laughs> and I want nice looking triangle. Well, let me put these into its own little layer so I know that this is, these are the triangles in this folder. I guess another task I can undertake is finding, um, more music that we can play <laughs> other than the one. Like, I have no problem with the one because I really can't hear it, but you guys hear it. <laughs> one day someone's going to go a little nutty if they already have been. I would like to avoid that if possible. <gasps> Bread! Bread, hello! What are you doing, Brett? Brett, look what we're doing. We're making a dual disc for the crab. Oh, dang it. It was red instead of yellow. <laughs> too late. Too late. It's yellow. We're committing to the yellow. <laughs> Once I get around to rigging the crabby, I'll, I'll go crabby every now and then. Maybe we'll turn it into a routine, then I can switch between the crab and the lobster. We'll see. I'm still very emotionally attached to the crab, so... We gotta play crab champions with the crab, so... Making some crabby assets. Thank you, thank you. I wish I could take credit for the crab. I can't. I'm taking credit for the dual disc because we just drew it on screen. But um, the crab is drawn by Adore Blush slash Adore Blushy, and they have super, super, super cute eyes. I could not help myself when I saw that they were doing it. Oh, no problem. Like, I mean, whether or not you make yourself known or you're looking, it's fine either way, Fred. You do what you gotta do. I hope it was a... I hope even though it was a random big talk, it was a good talk. Also, hello, Bloody. How are you doing, Bloody? Are you both having a good day? Where... Or the both of you are? What name is this? Color? Triangles. Line on. It was kind of a good talk. Mm. Normal you. We'll take it, we'll take it. We'll take normal and study over bad, so. Now, I'm gonna study the artwork to see how they do shadow. So I can make the dual disc have similar shadow. Doesn't the dual thing have the pendulum zones? Um, because I modeled it off of this picture, so I don't know what a dual disc with pendulum zones would even have, to be honest. Um, I don't know if I'll ever play pendulum monsters too. I don't know. You think there's any any pendulum decks out there that would be good?
bra? What is the bra? Explain the bra to me. You're currently making a pendulum deck? Oh. What kind? I Maybe I'll recognize the card type. Okay, that's a lie. I probably won't recognize it. Um... I don't- I don't see enough people playing Pendulum decks. Like, I don't necessarily think they're bad, I just- I've never seen them, you know? They're very few and far between. I'm gonna try a thing with the line on. Something with a card that's called Z Arc. Interesting. Maybe when you finish, we can duel. Like, not today, but like, you know, one of these days. When you finish building the deck, you know. Wonderful. I'll put it on my... I feel like I, I keep, like, a calendar, like... Not, like, a real calendar, but, like, I keep, like, a... Like, not something with real dates, but, like, I keep a thing of, like, stuff I plan to do eventually. So I'll add it to my list of things I plan to do. Yeah, you are stuff. Is uh, it's a whole process of collecting those. Let me let me try this. Let me see how this looks. Doing some experimentation. I'm gonna try to see how this colored line art looks compared to just having everything be the solid blue. areas we want to clean up a little, but we can do that. So when we zoom out, how does that look? It's very subtle, but I'm clicking this layer on and off. If 
you zoom in, it's a little bit more noticeable. I think I like the edge of this little, like, card holding. I think that's the part that ejects the card from the photos I was looking at. I like it with the dark blue instead of the gray. I like how everything else is with, like, the, the gray. And then it goes to the blue lining for the card area. Then it goes back to the dark blue. I think that's looking pretty good. I think I just need to, like, add shadows to the rest of the stuff. And, um... It'd be pretty good, actually. this color Looking pretty solid, actually. I might even... I need to duplicate this. I might actually make this a little bit thinner. on this edge here. And I'd have to adjust the coloring too, but... That's fine, we can adjust that. to our color copy. Start erasing some of this. Whoops. Bob's the duel. Oh yeah, yeah, so, um, hey AJ. I do have a, a crab model that fits in lore wise. Um, I used to be a crab, so... I'm making a duel disc for my crabby self. Well, whenever I return to my crabby form, um, which I think I'll make it redeem. So we can soul switch the bodies out, and um, I didn't do the, the art for the crab, however, I am doing the art for the dual disc, so... I, I hope to be able to draw as, like, cute and with as nice lines one day, but, um... We're very far from... Very far from that point. What are you doing today, AJ? Wait, let me... Get to 
people in network right now had to update your resume before you slip? Hmm. Gotta do what you gotta do. I'll link you the song. It's um Yeah, let me grab the link. Actually, this song is um I I don't know the full information on it, but according to um boss, it was made specifically for the lobster. So let me grab the link for that. Where's, where do I have the link for that? I have the link somewhere. It's called Submarine by You Don't. The last song, it's it's the same song. It's the same song. It's on it's on loop. It's been, it's the same song on loop. I have the same one song downloaded in, into my stream thing on loop. It's gonna drive someone crazy one of these days, but uh, until then, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is what we're doing. Come on. You can do it. No? You, you don't want to select the screen? Oh, okay. I know why the boy is hidden. Okay, I'm crazy. Oh, right. I need to invert it. Select invert, select it here. No, that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um... We can do that. Then we'll have a separate layer of shadows for the back area. We still also need to, um... Adjust the back area, so... Where even is this line? Oh, right, right, okay, okay, that's right. We also... We, we added the line on top, that's why I couldn't see it. Um... We just need to drag this down here then, and then... See which one of these are connected to here, where it ends. It ends there. We put a layer into a layer of that one, drag it in there. Now we can turn that off. We know where that is. Let's open the color, the copy of our color here. One, two, three. Four, five, 
We have all of those selected. Yeah, that should let us bring it down. A little bit. There's that gray thing in the back too, but we can, we can fix that. Um, where do I want this to sit? Maybe like right there. And then we can adjust it from there. Okay, wait, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's because, um... This layer is edging up there. So... That fix that. We gotta go clean up the line art here. pretty good um just need to add just maybe a little bit more layer of depth to shadows on the little top reddish portion and we'll be good i think This was a cute idea. Pretty happy with how this is going. Oh, that's why, because I'm on the <laughs> I'm on the eraser. figure out where those lines are coming from. Is it because this isn't put all the way over? No. From one of these layers up here. I don't know. I guess you can't notice it from far away, so I I won't worry too much about it.
I guess since we got sparkles, we'll go ahead and add some sparkles. Next, I'm gonna add it on top of the line art. Like one or two. have these in their own layer. Um, I mean their own folder. want one somewhere over here. I'm going to drag this one maybe up here. A little smaller. I think that's pretty good. I think I think it looks like it fits. I'm like, what am I? I got an email. I'm like, when do I sign up for this thing? Like, it's. I know what it is now. There's no question.
dual disc. A crab model. Taking a screenshot. Oh, I can get it on Twitter after this to say, hey, this is what we did on stream today. Um, I think this was a little bit more productive than my attempts at um, Lobster Cup. We'll go back and try Lobster Cup again later. But. You know what? Pretty productive. Pretty productive. We had a solid stream today. Thank you again, everybody, for, you know, coming in today. It's good to see you all again. It's nice to see, um, Rob was here, Edgenaut was here, Hatchet was here, Isaac was here, Telgob, Red came by, Darnell was here, of course, AJ's here. Um, Boss came by for a little bit, too. That was really exciting. Um, and to everybody looking, by the way, you don't have to make yourself known. That's totally fine, still. Um. Thanks for joining me today for some, you know, some chill lobster and crustacean related drawing. We'll be back Friday with yu gi -Oh! So that's gonna be exciting. And one of these days, one of these days, we'll actually finish bringing the crab model, so. Take care, folks. I hope you have a nice rest of your day, evening, wherever you are. Um, I guess there's a link. I'll, I'll eventually add a link on the page to the Discord. There's a Discord if you want to get in there, but you really don't have to. Um, screen schedules are up on Twitter. We'll be back Friday, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. with Gilmere the Duel. Um, so, take care. I don't think I have anyone to raid. I guess I can double check, but I don't think anyone I know is live right now. I could be wrong. It could be wrong. Let me check if anyone I know is live right now. Um, I don't know those people well enough to rate them, to be honest, so. I'll just call it here. That's all, folks. Take care. One dollar.